Well, I was born in Korea, immigrated to the United States when I was six years old. To know my story, people need to know the story of my parents, my grandparents, and my ancestors. Uh, my parents were both born in what is now called North Korea. Back then, there was only one country. And people might be aware that right now there are two Koreas and they're still technically in war, if you will. And it's a hard story, but my parents were both born in extreme poverty. The stories that they share are unbelievable. And when I hear about some of the stories, they, they also share stories about people, about organizations, about churches and Christians that came and offered them a lot of respect and dignity and help them not with handouts, but with hand ups, if you will. And that really inspired me. And these, many of these folks were Christians and missionaries and churches. And that inspires me because that's a holistic gospel. It's not just a gospel that says, do you believe in Jesus, yes or no? And how you answer depends on their engagement with you. But they understand this bigger picture of the kingdom of God. That's the kingdom that we need to be about. It's not about the proliferation of one person, one celebrity pastor, one denomination, but this larger kingdom that Jesus was about. So that really matters to me. And because I have that legacy as well, I'm inspired to do likewise for others as well. And as I look at the larger world, I can't deny the fact I am so incredibly blessed, not just with that legacy, but with that which has been given to me as a person living here in the United States. And I don't want a person living in a different part of the world that that in itself is their indictment or punishment. I don't have all the answers, but I do know I can't change the entire world, but I know I can do something. And in that process, the best part of this equation is that I'll also get changed in the process. And the church, the church needs to be changed and challenged in the process as well.